Oh, goody. It couldn't possibly get worse for Ultimate X-Men, could it? I reviewed the first two issues of this series by Peach Momoko and was like, what the heck is Marvel Comics thinking? There are no X-Men. Uh, there's nothing ultimate about this. It is literally a self-insert story about like Peach Momoko's childhood mixed with like some weird Junji Ito horror stuff. Now, if this was just some like girl book marketed as a random Japanese manga or something like that for Shoujo, sold on Kickstarter, it'd be fine. But labeling it X-Men is just a misnomer, and uh, it's probably the most boring book I've ever read. Uh, it's so bad, it's unbelievable, and it gets worse through this whole situation. Now, uh, as you can see, even the art looks like a little on the lazy side. I mean, you got uh, some very inconsistent like lines in the faces and things like that. Uh, you could tell that like she was rushed through this probably for that like monthly schedule, uh, you know, which uh, might be a little too much here. But we're three pages in, and look at how boring this is. Even even the coloring job is just like monotone, flat. It's like a girl like who's awkward in high school. Uh, she then talks with another girl. Cool. She then talks more, talks more, picks up a cat. Oh, God. Um, and then they add a, a couple horror -y elements of it. This one's just a cat scratching her. Cool. X-Men. This is what I want out of X-Men, just a cat scratching a girl. Now, the story behind this, like, there, there's a girl. This is a background story about a girl, May, getting her powers, which is basically the S Storm's powers. I don't know why this girl has Storm's powers when Storm is existing already in Black Panther, Ultimate Black Panther, which is in the line also. It just is kind of redundant. Uh, but again, there's, like, no real X-Men anything in this. Uh, and you can see that, again, nothing really happens. Uh, she's uh, She kind of spurgs out here. Uh, and then gets her storm power and, show, and shows her parents in a double splash page. That's the only action in the whole book. You've got one page of this. Uh, and then they stop and have a full stop scene uh, about a girl complaining she's getting a period at school. So therefore she can't participate in gym class. What are they thinking? What? Who? What? what is he, like, are you, Why are you greenlighting this? Like who wants to read about like some teenage girl complaining about getting her period so she can't participate in gym class is that is that what x-men is about <laughs> I mean, it's very bizarre then for some they try to tie it in at the very end with three issues in keep in mind it says oh you're both mutants too and that's it and so that is the only uh the, that's the first even like close to we're even trying to get to a superhero or x-men sort of theme in it uh even claiming that there's mutants here uh, the art's wonky all the way around. The design's like, it, it just doesn't work with the superhero book whatsoever. Uh, this is like how they're trying to sell X-Men these days. I haven't gotten the numbers on this, but, uh, I know that, uh, that, you know, there's probably going to be a drop off at this point. Usually what happens is these comic shops order a lot of number one for speculators. Uh, number two comes out before they, uh, can order again. Number th they kind of know what's going to happen by number three. So they order less. And with number four, that's, that's where they, they're doing it based on number two's sales. Uh, so, uh, we're going to see the drop off coming up very shortly in these next couple issues, but this is an absolute train wreck. Uh, this should, this is like shocking that Marvel would publish something this bad. And that's what the ultimate X-Men line has come to. What a, what a, what a disaster. I saw an ultimate uh, Spider-Man number four also, which I have not done my review yet. Uh, but it's the same thing like where like there was no action. It was a full issue just sitting around talking. I don't, I, it's like insanity to me, uh, why they can't get it together and actually produce action adventure comics when it's a freaking superhero book. And these are supposed to be superhero books. These are not uh, your little indie art projects. I'm sorry. It's it's ridiculous. Ugh, fans are really, really <laughs> livid about this. Uh, I call this like a 3 out of 10. It's terrible. Uh, it needs to be canceled. And that's it. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.